Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is Patrick Wooten of Richard Schwartz and Associates Injury Lawyers. And today we're talking all about misconceptions about hiring a personal injury attorney. We asked you some questions that you wanted to ask this man. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. So nice to N see you again. Likewise. We always have fun when you're here. We're going to get straight into this. Yep. In, I was in a wreck, but I, have, and, but I have some bumps, scratches and bruises. Mm -hmm. I'm not injured. This is interesting. What should I do then if I'm not injured? Yep. Well, you, you get there and you say bump, scratches and bruises. So a is that bruise, class as an injury? That's an injury. I mean, oh. you didn't have that before the wreck happened. And, and there's a lot of cases I've seen in my 28 years where someone thinks, I just have a bump or a bruise or right. a scrape. And so they're like, I don't need a lawyer. I'm not going to the doctor. And then a month or two months later, they're like, man, I still feel bad. And then they finally get medical treatment and the insurance company gives them the runaround because they're like, you waited two months to get medical treatment. So it's always a good idea to get checked out. Our okay. hope is everyone has minor injuries, but All get right. checked out. Can I jump on that question yes. for a moment? You just said to me, if you go two or three months later mm -hmm. and you have been injured, you might have post-traumatic stress mm -hmm. or something, an injury in the neck that wasn't there That's straight right. away. Is that going to make your case harder? Very much so. The right. insurance company loves to find roadblocks that yeah. they can throw up in front Hello. of you. And a delay in medical treatment is one of the biggest roadblocks they do. They're like, oh, you should have known you were hurting. You didn't go to the doctor. You waited a month or two months. How do we know you didn't get hurt at exactly. home? How do we didn't know you get, didn't get hurt playing a basketball game? So that's going to really make issues for you, Absol our lawyer. Absolutely. All right, our next viewer wrote in, when a person is in a wreck, they are worried and stressed about their health mm -hmm. and finances. Due to that, they don't think they can afford an attorney. Yep. Well, actually, I think that's true as well. It's a great question, but the nice thing about a personal injury attorney in Richard Schwartz and Associates, it's free. Troy, you call us up. I was in an accident. We're going to sign you up. You owe us nothing. You're not going to get a bill from us. We're not going to say, hey, Troy, we need to get your medical records. Please send us $82. Is we take all the risk, you know, working your case up, and we only get paid if we recover money for you. Okay. Are you assessing the case to see if it's a winnable case? before they sign all that paperwork? We do. So you're okay. going to call in and tell us how the wreck happened, where yeah. it happened, you know, have you, were you hurt? Have you been to the doctor? Have you got insurance? Yeah, all is those... there insurance? So yeah, there are some criteria we're right. looking at to determine, you know, is there a viable case? You know, because we get a lot of people who call in saying, hey, I was driving the car, a deer ran out in front of me, I hit the deer. Yeah. Which happens a lot in Mississippi. Well, you can't recover for that case. The deer doesn't have insurance, needless to say, and under our laws, it doesn't qualify yeah. as an uninsured motorist case yeah. but yeah you got to look at the box to make sure you can check the boxes that someone's going to qualify. Is that a phone call or making an appointment to come in and discuss? No, it's both. 95% of the people do it over the phone. Okay. But you I absolutely you. can come to any of our four offices across the state. All right. Person. I have another one. People constantly see insurance commercials and these insurance companies state they will take care of mm -hmm. you. So injured people don't think they even need an attorney. Yep. Do people need to hire an injury attorney? They do. I mean, insurance companies do great commercials. Everyone knows who, you know, is on, I'm not going to name the insurance companies, but yeah. all their commercials. But yeah, they have millions of dollars. They have a, a bevy of lawyers who represent them. And so they don't want you to get a lawyer because they realize when you hire an attorney, you level the playing field. You're able to fight for justice. You can go to court if you need to go to court, you know, whereas if you're trying to do it on your own, well, you don't do this day and day. I can't tell you to be here the wonderful host you are because I don't have that skill set. You, you know, I don't, you it's know. It's my but, Australian blood. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but the insurance company doesn't want you to be able to have the same skill set as they do. Always great information, my friend. Thank, Thank you, you so much. If you want to find out more, there it all is up on the screen for you. We've been chatting away with Patrick Wooten of Richard Schwartz and Associate Injury Lawyers.